Hello everyone, welcome back to another one of my videos. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to freeze tracks and what the benefits of that is. Basically you can freeze the tracks to improve your computer performance. So if you're using a low end system then this is definitely going to be something that you're going to want to check out. Because this will improve your entire experience using Cubase. Before we get into that, if you're new here, click that like button and subscribe for more of my videos. Right, let's get to it. Okay, so I have this little song that's written out. So it's all using VSTs. Well, pretty much all using VSTs. I've got a few audio files. Let's have a listen. You can see the drums. The drums are all on this channel, the kick channel. This is basically the entire drum kit. You can see on our mixer that we've got the whole drum channels here. Kick drum, snare drum, hi-hats. Go into a group channel. Right, let's freeze this drum kit. So basically what freezing does is it sort of renders the audio that's that's being used and puts it sort of in the background of Cubase so that you can still hear what's going on, but it's not loading the VST anymore. So that saves a load of computer power. And to do this, we're going to go over to this tab here and see the drum kit VST. There's a little freeze icon here, freeze instrument. And if we click on that, freeze instrument only. OK. And this will take a few seconds to do. And once it's done, the whole track will be frozen. You'll see that there'll be a little lock icon here. And basically that means you can't edit this anymore. Like once a track is frozen, you can't then go into the MIDI and input more notes or change notes. It's completely locked. So there we go. We've got the lock icon. You can't solo it. You can't mute it. And the track is now frozen. So if I press play, you'll, you should still be able to hear the drum kit, but it's not being loaded into this VST. And to unsolo that now, we'd have to then go back into the mixer and just unsolo our drum channels. So we still have that drum kit there. The VST drum kit, we've not exported any audio. We're still using the VST, but we've frozen it. So we've got the benefits of both. We've got the samples and we're not loading that VST into the, the DAW or DAW as some people say. To unfreeze the instrument, you just click on the freeze button again and click unfreeze. And there we go. That is now unfrozen. I can now go back to editing this MIDI part if I wanted to. And yeah, this works for any VST. So just freeze the VST on the side panel here. If you don't have the side panel, you click on this icon up here, the show right zone. And then go to the VSTI tab. So, yep, yeah, this will help if you have a low-end computer. And this will save a load of memory. So, let me know if this has helped in any way. Leave some comments if you need any help. And, yep, yeah, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.